So this is an example of why we need to do internal cavity check-in with a borescope camera on the E46 rear axle carrier panel cavities which are in the boot floor and the rear seat section. To do that you need to take quite a lot of interior out um, because there is a little bit of cutting, grinding evolve um, and you need some good access to get to these panels without the carpets and the uh, leather trims and things in place. So I'll just show you walk around the front of the car. But this car is a January 2004. with 49,000 miles on. So very low mileage really for the year. We just walk into the boot. We've got the borescope camera set up and we're checking in the cavities here. Traditionally subframe checks used to just be under the car. Have a look under the car if there's any hairline cracks or spot weld breakages under the car. It's obviously got a problem and needs some work. As the cars and years have gone on, far more we've seen have internal problems in these cavities. Boot cavity in here and a rear seat cavity in here. And it's really important that these areas are checked as well. So we offer this check, um, which is 140 pounds, including the VAT. And that's for an interior strip out like this. Cavity check with the borescope camera of the rears and the seat panel, what we call the front section. And then also raise the car onto a lift in the workshop and carry out the underside traditional subframe checks as well. And this is why it's important. So remember this car has got um, 49,000 miles and it's a, a January 2004. And we're gonna go into the box section of the rear cavity. And here's the panel edge. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly gloss over to the right because this spot weld over here is okay. And over on the right hand side, we've got a spot weld which is starting to fail because it's got a black highlighted crack in it. It's not totally failed yet, but uh, it is breaking, so that one would need some attention, which could be argued that it could be done from underneath, but there is another issue that these cars suffer with, with a spot weld up on this top left corner, which is un unable to be accessed from under the car and from in the car. We need to cut this panel out to access it, and this car, with only 49,000 miles on, is also suffering with this very top left spot weld broken. The circumference of the spot weld is almost all cracked which is highlighted by the black line. There's a small section holding on on the left of that spot weld but unfortunately that is cracked and there is no way to get to it underneath the car or above so we do need to take sound deadening material off to do a repair effectively and cut either an access panel or cut the entire thing open. Carry out those spot weld replacements for plug welds also additional strengthening by connecting it down into the reinforcement plate system and then putting this boot floor section back on, replacing the sand deadening pad, painting, putting the welds in effective OEM positions. And if we walk into the other part of the car, which is the rear seat area, to do cavity checking on this one, you do actually need to remove a redundant bracket here with either drilling or belt sanding the spot welds off. And in creating an access hole, we do 20 millimeters both sides. And this is important because this cavity isn't exposed underneath the car. It's only visible from inside the car. And we have a small hairline crack starting on this MIG weld on the top left of that MIG weld, which is a brown, brown golden black color. Now more importantly on the driver's side, it's a lot more easier to see this MIG weld in the front or the middle of the screen now has quite a long crack which is identified with a greasy looking material which is the cavity wax which has got stuck in the crack and then the dirt which is in the airflow has stuck to it which highlights it a darker colour for us which is quite easy for us to, to pinpoint and pick up but that just shows you that unfortunately these cars are fairly susceptible to cracks internally in the cavities this is a January 2004 with 49,000 miles and additionally over on this isofix, child isofix mountain thread with a child seat wood bracket attachment there is also a crack, hairline crack. This is only about the fourth or fifth car we've seen it on but there is a crack there where the panel is deformed. So that's why it's really important to take the interior out to this level, carry out borescope checking 
as well as the cracks checks underneath the car and like I say we do this um, additional or thorough check which we call a rear axle carrier panel check and assessment uh, it's £140 including the VAT we need the car for around about three hours to do this in our workshop in Bristol.